news ideas, innovations, and solutions to big problems. And in today's Big Eye, we want to talk to uh, a group of Johns Hopkins graduates who are hoping to save millions of lives every year. They invented what is basically a $1 pen that could screen up to 400 pregnant women for postnatal disease. According to the United Nations Population Fund, every day more than a thousand women die of pregnancy-related complications and thousands more suffer from debilitating conditions. And so this is a very simple, very innovative idea that frankly could be a game changer in developing countries. And here to tell us all about it are two of the inventors, Sean Monagle and Mary O'Grady. They join us live from Baltimore, Maryland. First, Sean, I want you to give us a little bit more of an idea of how this invention works, how a pen or something that looks like a pen can, can save lives. Yeah, so the problem is that current methods to screen for these conditions in pregnant women are too expensive. Uh, so what we developed is this pen that Mary has here. And what we can do is we can give this pen to community health workers in developing countries that travel village to village. Now, they can use our pen to mark on a piece of paper. Um, this is our protein pen, which can screen for a condition called preeclampsia. Uh, now, the community health worker can use this pen to make a mark on a piece of paper, and that mark will be yellow. She can then give the, pen, give the piece of paper uh, to a pregnant woman, and she can urinate on it like a pregnancy test. And if the yellow mark turns blue, that indicates she has a protein in her urine, which is a major symptom of preeclampsia. And that's a sign that she needs to seek help at a health clinic or a hospital. Um, right now, this pen costs about a dollar to make, and we estimate we can get up to 400 tests out of it. So we're looking at a cost well under one, one cent per test. So what got you started with this idea? What inspired you to make this? Um, so this actually started off as a senior design project about three years ago. I worked on a separate uh, team of undergraduates. Uh, we worked with a, com a, a nonprofit organization called Japaigo. Uh, they're an affiliate of Johns Hopkins. They're active in about 50 different countries worldwide. Um, but we were working on a, a, a test to screen for preeclampsia, which is where we came up with the idea of the protein screening test uh, using a pen. Um, we've been able to work with Chapago not only through the development of the pen, um, but also to help, field uh, to help conduct field studies last, uh, last fall. And we're continuing to, uh, to schedule more field studies in the coming months. Um, so they've been a great, great help. Now, Mary, tell me how long you actually had to work on this to get it to this stage. And sure. either of you sort of give us an idea how long it's going to take to actually get it on the market. So as Sean was saying, the, the protein pen began a couple of years ago. So it is furthest in development. And actually, um, Japago has plans to take it into field testing this summer. Um, the other pens that we have, and it's a kit of seven different tests, um, each of the tests are in different stages of development right now. We started um, last fall after traveling to um, three different countries, uh, India, Tanzania, uh, and Nepal through our program at Johns Hopkins called the Center for Bioengineering Innovation and Design. And we went to these countries to get a better idea of the human factors and design criteria that we need um, in order to develop technologies for uh, developing countries uh, so that they are adopted and used in these countries. So we started about in the fall, and each of the tests um, are at different stages, whether they're, uh, we're just changing threshold levels or whether they're more early stage. So, But we, ex we expect a, a couple will be going out in uh, the end of this year and next year as well. Yeah, the, the protein screening test, which is the furthest developed, if all of our testing this summer goes well, we hope we can probably start mass production maybe at the end of this year or early next yeah. year. Great. All right. Thanks so much. Sean Monagle and Mary O'Grady in Baltimore. We appreciate it, and we'll be watching to see the progress of your innovation. Thank you. Right, thank you very much. For more about these folks, check out our blog at CNN.com slash alley. Uh, Want to know what innovative ideas we'll look at tomorrow? You need to